welcome back. Okay. We are going to go to this recipe, which is called a vegetarian burger. Mm, sounds good, honey. It calls for one cup of garbanzo beans, two cups of water, one medium onion chopped, three tablespoons of soy milk powder, one cup of pecan meal, one cup of old-fashioned oats, one cup of instant oats, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes, two tablespoons of sage, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of soy sauce light, and one fourth cup of canola oil. Okay. Now I like this because we got Burger a lot time. of the stuff Burger that we're time. using on the first part of the show. We're now putting those grains and stuff together. And we're I'm going make it. vegetarian, That's making right. that transition. Right. I'm going to start off with just adding in, Curtis, uh, when you, you're going to soak these beans overnight. When we okay. do the instructions on it, is you're going to take the one cup of uh, pin, uh, um, gabunzo beans and put it in water, two cups of water, let it sit overnight. It will swell up and make two and a half cups of oh, okay. bunzels, all right? Good point. So we got that with the water, we've already done that. We're gonna go ahead and put those all in. And right away, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in. We've got instant oats, and you can go ahead and get that onion ready for me. Oh, okay. We've got instant oats, and you can just make large, make it big, you don't have to make it small. All right. All right, we got the um, old-fashioned oats going in. Mm-hmm. We've got the pecan. This is pecan meal that's going in also. This helps to give the texture that the burgers need to have as well, the nut kingdom. And then once you put those uh, onions in there for me, no, not um, big chunks, baby, because oh, it's going to be chunk. blended. As soon as that food processor gets a hold of it, oh, okay. it is going to blend right on down, okay? Okay. And, um, all right, so just go ahead, set that on, set that on oh, top. Oh, to on top of that, yeah. Okay. All right. All righty. And I like this combination, nice flavor. One onion. There, all there. right. All right, we're going to put that top on. And we're going to blend it. Now you want to make sure that you blend this all the way until this becomes kind of uh, smooth or, or you don't see the beans themselves as far as the gabunzels. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in the sage, the soy flour, the traditional yeast, the salt and um, the garlic uh, powder, and then I'm gonna lastly put in the um, soy sauce, all right? Okay. I'm gonna turn it back on. Let me stir it first one time here. Get all this down in there. Now you mentioned soy sauce. There's also light. Bragg's liquid you amino, which Bragg's is about aminos. the same amount of sodium, sodium as wise soy is, sauce is, light. Yes, it's correct? the same. Um, I like the soy sauce light because it has a hickory kind of a flavor oh, okay. to it, so I like that flavor a little bit better, okay? but you can use the other one in place. Now, what happens is, if you can see, Curtis is already oh, yeah. making a okay. nice kind of a pasty uh, texture here. Let me go ahead and heat the skillet. You can go ahead and get the skillet heated up okay. because what happens is, now, I, I want to say that once you make this up, it does take, you want to let it sit for a while because so that all those flavors can actually get in there. Mm -hmm. So I've already pre made up a batch so you can oh, see what it looks it like right when it's all finished and this is the one we're going to actually put into our skillet so you got your olive oil there I mean canola oil we're using right now so let's get that canola oil together and we're going to pour all it in it? and get it hot uh, that's enough right there that's enough we're going okay. to get that skillet nice and hot and one of the things that I have found out Curtis is that when you do this if you would just take you can spray your ham a little bit of spray if you want to make the patties okay but I have found that if I take this four, uh, one fourth cup measurement, uh -oh. I can make a nice burger out of it and so you don't have to worry about your hands getting dirty, okay? So once again, you make this up and you will let it sit for at least a good 10 minutes mm -hmm. before you start making your burgers and I'm gonna go ahead, and, I'm gonna go ahead on and let's move that over to the side and let's go ahead on and make the burgers. Your pan nice and hot, baby? Well, nice and hot, turn it up a little bit it's there. It's 300. All right, 350, 350. 
350. Alrighty. I'm going to put it in and we're going to flatten it out. Now, how many burgers can this make approximately this makes based a, on this makes recipe? makes about 15 large oh, 15. burgers. 15 large burgers. If you can see if you do one fourth of a cup. Okay. All right. Want to make it in the, I like to make the circle, of course. All right. Mm -hmm. And let's say, um, we'll do another one. And then I want to tell you something else that I do with this as well. So oh. we're make 15 nice burgers. Mm -hmm. Let's flatten it out. And if and you this would, is going, making the transition, transition. is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is very inexpensive. Yes. Of course, you know, of course, meat is very expensive, and uh, but using the whole grains and legumes, relatively inexpensive as compared to meat. Yes. Fresh foods. Yeah. Well, one of the things I do, Curtis, too, with this, remember I have sage in it? That's right. Okay, so you can also turn this into like um, little sausage patties. And the way you do that, and I am going to have to get some, some oil in my hands, and that is you would just take a smaller amount of it, let's even get less than that, a smaller oh, amount, and, roll and then you'd bit. roll it up a little bit and make it into sausage patties, okay? And if you want to make a long patty, like, you know, um, like the sausage link, you can add a little bit of red pepper, uh, red pe peppers to it, uh, if you want to, a little bit more sage, and you can actually make it into a link. Oh. Okay. Any variation that you Any like. variation, you can make up a it combination of different things there. I need to flip now, it now or what? I'm gonna tell you now. Well, you want to brown on on, on, on at one side really well. Okay. It takes about a good, um, I would say on a speed, maybe about a good 10 minutes or so. Because okay. these are beans and it is raw. Remember that, okay? Oh, okay, not cooked. And so with that in mind, and you have a spatula over there, don't you? I have not? one over here. You got a spatula. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's looking pretty good there. Let's turn that first one over. First one. Let's turn it over so you can see that brown, that nice brown color it actually makes. All right, and then flat it one? down a little bit. Hold on, flat oh, okay. it down a little bit there. All right. Nice golden brown. Nice golden brown. You can do the second one there okay. too as well. Don't don't smack it so hard, honey. Oh, don't smack Let's it so move hard. That down so that we can get the other ones brown as well. Okay. And now you know what's going to happen is. Um, that's going to be browning up, and like I said, it'll make about 15 um, burgers, mm -hmm. the size of a burger bun, believe it or not, and then it will make something like almost 30 of the actual little patties, and it'll make almost 30 of those long ones, so you can have it, like we do, the little small ones, I'll yes. do that with waffles uh, on a Sunday afternoon, I'll Sunday, do that with waffles like and stuff like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this let's go ahead on and turn those over so you can see that one. Um, yeah, go ahead, you can this go ahead and do the other burger. Go ahead and do the other burger. Okay. Okay. And I don't think the middle one is ready. Well, let's just see what happens there. I just want them to see that little, the little one. Okay. Let's oh, see. it is. Then, yeah, because it's sitting at 300. It's in at 350. Okay. All right. The main thing is you want to make sure that you get that oil, because the oil is what actually causes the browning. Okay. Now, this is an excellent combination. You got the mm -hmm. beans, um, you know, you got all those, uh, the whole grains, whole grain. the combination to go together there. And you can serve this once it's done, mm -hmm. once the burger's done, you can serve it on a whole wheat bun with uh, a soy mayonnaise, all right? Mm -hmm. oh, we also have our mayonnaises that we have in our book, uh, Revised Vegetarian Cooking Made Easy. That's true. Lettuce and tomatoes, you know. But I know you're saying to yourself, I still don't believe that. So you know what? We want you to stay by because we're getting ready to show you the end product. Well, welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. We have patties. accomplished these vegetarian patties yes. that were made out of garbanzo beans. All mm -hmm. right, garbanzos and pecan meal. We've got the burgers already made up, beautiful brown color. Yes. And then we've just shown you how you can take that same burger and you can put it with your whole wheat bread, with your lettuce and your tomatoes and your soy mayonnaise and make it into a burger itself. All and right. so what can you say except that, you know, we also had made on that show, uh, remember, you know, the sausage patties and we showed you how to make the long ones and the round ones and just be creative, all right? But just go to show you that you can take things like the beans and the grains and work this out as well. Okay, looks good, now, sounds good. Uh -huh. And I don't know if it tastes good. That is the acid test in my book. Can you work with me on well, this one again? Well, let me just see you if have I something have under the cupboard. In a, in a cupboard here, as in far as that goes. Oh, look at this! Okay, uh -huh. you have a whole burger. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. I got one so eye on a clock and one eye on the burger. Together. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 yes now, yes. Um, how are we going to work this? Um, Is our time running out, mm, honey? Because yes. I can start the sandwich. Okay. What, will you take a bite? Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Mm. I think we need to close. Mm. Well, as always, John mm. ten ten. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, "I come." 
that they might have life and have, have it, it more abundantly. abundantly.